Welcome to House of Whimsical Terror. I'm Esther. I'm Mary. And we're coming to you today from Tucson, Arizona. And we're telling real stories of the fantastical. All of our stories are true or told to us as true. Occasionally, we alter names to protect privacy. And we do the same for some of the places. Today's story is... Mimic. Mimic. Yes. Yes. Uh, we have a, an extremely... I know I always say we have a special guest, but today... But we do. I am over the moon. We have my amazing niece, Athena. True. So Athena yes. is so many things. She is a musician, and she mm-hmm. is our musician, the mu- musician who uh, composed, composed and our performed yeah. our intro, outro music. Yeah. And she performs with a band called Blue and the Boys, who are absolutely extraordinary. Uh, I've Mm -hmm. been to see them many times, and their music is is incredible. So we're happy to have her. She's also, she's a lot of things. She's a dancer. She's she's an actor, and she is a brilliant storyteller. I was just going to say, and she's a brilliant storyteller. Yes. Yes, so she yes. told me uh, these stories the other day. We were just sitting around chatting, and I said, oh, my gosh, you have to tell the mimic story on the podcast. And she said, okay, I'll do it. So We are so excited. I haven't heard the mimic story, so I'm extra excited. All yeah, right. Yeah. So Athena Blue of Blue and the Boys, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited about this. Yeah. Thanks. So uh, you lived in a house that was, well, maybe more than one, but this particular house you lived in was scary. Weird things happened. Mm. A couple of weird things happened. Um, so this story, I feel like we might have put this weird thing upon ourselves in this house in a sort of way. Interesting. Um, mm-hmm. So I lived with my sister in a duplex that was one big house divided in half. So we had a neighbor in the wall um, next to us. Um, and she was a very sweet neighbor. You know, she was kind of mind her own business, but she was really kind and everything. Yeah. Um, and... Mm-hmm. Uh, so the house was not too, um, scary or spooky or anything like that, but there was a moment that it got a little weird. So I want to get into that. Um, so my neighbor, uh, as I said, she lived next door and she could kind of hear, we could hear through the walls a little bit, depending where you were in the house. Mm -hmm. Um, one day I was practicing for a show and I was singing Valerie by Amy Winehouse. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, and she texts me later and she says, I love that song. Like, this sounds great. You know, like yeah. it, basically she's saying, I can hear you through the wall singing. And I'm right. like, Oh no. And she's positive about it. <laughs> yeah, she's she, like, she, it was she's like, I yeah. love that song. Yeah, yeah. She was really sweet um, about it. And so, but I still, you know, I get a little, self-conscious knowing that somebody's hearing me practice too. It's not Mm -hmm. like I was in performance quite yet, but that's helps me in performance anyways. So, uh, yeah, so that's a little backstory of kind of the house layout and, um, sort of our interactions. Um, and I had talked to her, you know, I heard her voice maybe a few times, handful of times. Um, I could hear her occasionally through her wall, but, not usually. We were kind of up at different times of day, so I couldn't really mm-hmm. hear her. Um, okay, so then one day, my sister came home with this mirror, and uh, she put it in our bathroom, hmm. and she put it behind the toilet, which was facing our medicine cabinet. Okay. So the mirror was mirroring our other mirror. Huh. Um, and I think we both knew that it maybe wasn't a great idea to have that happening mm-hmm. in the house. Um, but it just, it felt like a nice place for the mirror. So we just kept it there. Um, so one day, uh, I was, you know, I get up in the middle of the night to use the restroom or whatever. I'm, I'm kind of a late night person, but I, was kind of sleeping and I, and I woke up in the middle of the night 
Um, but later I realized like I was dreaming during this time, but it felt really real because it was mm. really realistic. Like, oh, I'm just waking up to go to the bathroom. So I wake up, walk to the bathroom. There's, you know, my bathroom on my left and my neighbor's wall on my right. Um, so as I'm about to turn into the bathroom, um, I sort of hear this like singing next to me and it sound and it sounds like coming from my neighbor's wall. Oh. Um, and it sounds like her voice sort of, but a little more shrilly, I guess you could say. Uh-huh. Um, and she was singing, but it was very mumbled, very, um, it was hard to make out what she was saying, but she was kind of singing like a, like a shanty kind of sounding mm. song and, and it kind of sounded like, da, 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 da. but then every once in a while, every few notes or so, she would throw in my name. <laughs> so she would say, da, 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 Athena, banana, banana, so scary. Athena. So, um, yeah, that, it definitely made me feel very uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> But I wasn't sure what kind of like the purpose of it was. And to me, in the dream state I was in, I was thinking, oh, maybe my neighbor's just testing if I can hear her or something. But, um, mm-hmm. but I do, but I think, you know, it might have been a mimic. I was like, should I respond? Like, I'm, I'm nervous that she would know that I can hear her. So I'm not going to say anything. So I just mm-hmm. ended up you know, going to the bathroom and, um, never respond and I didn't to respond. Your <laughs> mimic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And just to interject, uh, so mimics will sound like someone, you know, but it sounds a little off. Like your mm-hmm. neighbor sounded like her, but just a little off kind of mm-hmm. like the AI version. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> someone sees it's them, but not quite. Yeah. Yeah. You can yeah. kind of tell they're a little off. Uh-huh. Um, but also people might use your own voice or someone you trust. And if you respond to them, that's, you're not supposed to respond to them. All. I honestly don't know what happens if you respond to a mimic, but that's right. what they're trying to get you to do. Something bad. I have that feeling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, I'm sorry. So go, go ahead. Yeah. That was pretty much the story. And then I, I woke up the next day and kind of just thought back to it and just thought, Oh, I think that was a dream. But it was such a realistic situation that it, it felt really real in the moment. Mm-hmm. It didn't feel like a dream. It mm-hmm. felt like you were really there experiencing mm-hmm. that. I wonder if you were kind of in the in-between. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it wasn't kind of your, you know, our conscious waking world. But it also wasn't a dream. It was that in-betweenness where you could hear the mimic more clearly trying to get your attention. Who knows? Maybe it was the mimic who were, woke you up who in the first place. Up. Yeah. Ooh. That's what I was Uh-oh. thinking. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was definitely spooky. It was definitely <laughs> time for a sage burning party. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, and a couple other little things happened, um, around that time when we had that mirror sort of reflecting hmm. each other. Um, and those, the other incidences were a little bit easier to kind of shove off a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. But once we moved the mirror, it kind of, you know, the energy changed in the, in the house uh-huh. too. So, yeah. Did and, you yeah. deduce that we introduced this new item into our home and now these weird things are happening? Um, well, yeah. And Ivy, I mean, <laughs> my sister, she, um, she's very into like the spiritual, you know, realm and knowing Mm -hmm. how things interact and fairies and witches. Yeah. And she's sensitive to that kind of thing. And she's, she's, uh, knows about superstitions and things like that. So I think she knew that it was a little risky to, to do that. And Mm -hmm. I think we both kind of knew, but we were just like, it, it just looks so cool right here. Uh, like, right. Right? Fashion over, you know, spiritual protection. Right. Yeah. yeah. All the time. Sometimes, exactly. Sometimes you just have to push those. It looks yeah. good. <laughs> I'm just, well, I'm just going to deal and, with the demons. Yes. <laughs> and what brought this up was, you know, the mirror that I have that, and I don't know if I've talked about this on the, the 
episode about my house, but mm. there's a mm-hmm. mirror that, you know, sometimes you'd see someone kind of looking back that, you know, or, and I didn't know if it was a shadow or what, and I covered it with a kind of a sheer red uh, mm-hmm. cloth. Mm-hmm. And uh, Athena, you saw it and you said, Hey, that's maybe not a good idea to have that right across from your other mirror. And mm. it made me think, Oh, mm-hmm. something. Yep. Yeah. And you were saying too, that that, um, little window is sort of a strange portal or sort of a strange like area in general in yeah. the house too. So yeah, where well, it's when the, the ghost, um, investigators came, you'll, you can hear about that in a, a different, um, episode, which I can't think of the title to right now. Me neither. How Just funny. Episode. Anyway, <laughs> uh, they came at the house or they're something anyway. Mm-hmm. We can't remember our own title of our own episode. <laughs> uh, but it, it, uh, yeah, there was a lot of activity right there in that mirror. Mm-hmm. And, uh, something happened to uh, Rebecca, one of the, one of the investigators when she was there. In fact, oh. I think she heard her name. <gasps> oh, yes. That's terrifying. Yeah. That's terrifying. I think I'll have to check with her. But Whoa. that's interesting. So I wonder if yes. that's one of the portals that the mimics can come through is two mirrors facing see. each other across. I mean, it's pretty far, but they're still across from each other. Right. They're still able but to. But you have a, you have a piece of lace over the mirror. Yeah. I, I covered it. I it's, it's been fine since then. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't have any issues with that mirror now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You so were saying a couple of little things happened. Do you remember what they were? Um, just one night I was, uh, I was alone in the house and, um, I heard a clicking sound, like a click sort of sound. Um, and it was really strange. I mean, obviously there's creaking and things that happen in the house, but this sounded very like intentional. Um, I didn't really see anything happen when I heard the sound, but it, it freaked me out because I was like, that's weird. You know, I don't hear that often. Um, and it sounded like it was coming from that same hallway. And that hallway mm. in general had a strange energy to it because it led into the basement. And there was sort of this, mm. there was a sort of this, like, the, at the end of the hall, there wasn't really anything happening over there. There wasn't, like, any, like, chairs or any, like, life there. It was just kind of, like, a dark corner of right. the house. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the place where I was standing where I heard... The song, if you walk a little bit farther forward, is where the light switch is in the end of the hall. And so I realized, I think, that that was sound was the light switch. Oh. Um, and I realized we had the light turned on for several days around that time. Mm. And, uh, and then the light was off when I went over there and I checked, you know, was this what the sound was? And, I, and it did, in fact, sound like that light wow. switch. So I think whatever was over in that corner um, didn't like the light being on. Maybe they wanted to save energy or <laughs> <laughs> right. nothing good spooky, comes but... from the basement. I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah. It's just been my experience. Oh, oh, no. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, and that basement wasn't, you know, super haunted feeling or anything like that. I, I didn't go down there much because they're it's just dusty and yeah, you know, made of adobe and it's stuff. Still but, a basement. Yeah, right. So mm-hmm. yeah, in the basement, you know, opening the door every time I would give a tour of my house, like people were pretty creeped out. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I get it. Yeah. So that was a little bit strange. Um but I don't know, maybe maybe the light was already off or something and that's what we like to tell ourselves. you know i don't know no, you knew the light was on you heard yeah, that click yeah, and yeah. it made you turn around yeah and mm. um i'm on the other side of the house when i hear it so i couldn't see the hallway um but uh and then the other thing was one night i was watching a scary documentary about paranormal activity um, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know um were you home alone i was alone yeah of course uh, <laughs> the best time, <laughs> <laughs> which I, I do get into my, you know, little paranormal moments for, uh, I have my phases and then I'm like, okay, I need to switch to something a little more lighthearted. Mm-hmm. But you mm-hmm. know, I was, I was watching this really scary, um, poltergeist episode and I poltergeists like 
for some reason that scares me a yeah. lot. Because they can do physical things. Yeah, yeah. It's the yeah, interacting with the physical mm-hmm. world. So um I was in the middle of that episode and my power went out. Mm-hmm. And it was like one AM or something. Mm-hmm. Um and so yeah, I I freaked out. I, I looked in the neighborhood to see, oh, are my other neighbors lights off? Is it just a power outage? There wasn't a storm or anything. Huh. Um my neighbor's lights were on, so I just thought, okay, either some weird poltergeist action is happening or there's huh. somebody who turned off my breaker. I need to get out of here. Yes, so yes, I grabbed smart. my cat and we mm-hmm. and I got in my car and we drove away and I tried to call people but it's one AM so everyone's sleeping and mm. you know, I called I called my ex and he was just like, Oh, you're crazy and I was just oh, like, no. Okay. Um well he didn't say exactly that, but he's like, It's probably fine. So then I drove around the block for a little bit, just shaking, freaking out. And then I noticed some, um, you know, traffic lights were out kind of near my neighborhood. So I was like, Mm -hmm. okay, I think it's, you know, regionalized. So I, I, I think that that wasn't as, um, you know, supernatural as it 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 may have seemed, but true. And why your house? And no one else is in the right. neighborhood. Around me. And then mm-hmm. why the traffic lights when you were looking? Mm-hmm. Like, are those Good two point. things related? And did they go out around you for a reason? Mm-hmm. So, oh, that's a good question. Either way, it's smart to get out of the house if you think something's not right. Right. So oh, smart. Yeah. 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 Grab your cat. Grab, yeah. Get in your car and run away. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah, and I had to stop watching that episode, and I waited. I watched it with my mom later. Oh, good. Like, I had yeah. some company <laughs> later because I was curious. Your mom is safe. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna call your mom next time I want to watch something like that. Oh, she <laughs> yeah. loves. She loves oh. like you know. Yeah, I know. Stuff I know. <laughs> Uh, yeah so um and then uh yeah it was kind of like those few events and then uh we decided to move the mirror and after that it, it you know things were back to normal so. that is so interesting it's good that to know because i didn't know until you told me mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. i'm like mm. yep Portals yeah to and the concept ones. of mimics that's that's a thing to be mindful of right it is especially because they come in the form of somebody that you trust usually. So yeah, if, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. you might want to respond to them, but exactly, right. yeah. but don't, yeah. that is the moral of the story. Yeah. <laughs> and you've I have learned heard, it here today. You, and you've heard my name, your name being called in out. my house. Yeah. 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 And you did not respond. which is No. Funny. Cause I knew I was the only one there. Yeah. I just was like, this is so weird. And then I looked at my dog and I was like, did you hear that? (laughs) Um, But yeah, it was strange. Like it really makes you pause. Like you're like, did I just hear what, what, Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. It's creepy. It Mm -hmm. is. Yeah. And you wonder like, you know, am I supposed to respond or not? Or Mm -hmm. yeah. And hearing your name is like, yeah, it's significant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and that's something I really want to hear when there aren't other people home. No, <laughs> no, no, thank you. No, no I do not. <laughs> exactly. Or yeah. in a weird shanty song. <laughs> yeah, I definitely I don't want to hear your name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely not that. <laughs> so now that we have that down, yes. ladies, lesson uh, learned. Athena, lesson learned. You have other stories that we would love to have you back on the show mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. to tell to tell those stories as well. Yeah. So and right. I can't thank you enough for taking time and telling us these stories. Absolutely, my pleasure. I mean, I love spooky stuff, so. and I'm so <laughs> delighted. Too. So so delighted to have you as a guest, and mm-hmm. and thank you again for our fantastic music, uh, intro outro music, we which I it. am crazy about. Oh, so. Me too. Me too. Yeah. It's perfection. Yeah, uh, it was a fun project for me. So thank you all thank for you. having yeah. me around and letting me tell my stories. You You're love wonderful. it. Yeah. Thank you to our listeners for joining us and please come back and listen to more stories and share them. And now so long, good friends until next time when we meet back at the house.